not so ill. Just you peacefully in your own mind. Can I read a good book? Anything but the Hunger Games. <laughs> but I don't read anything but the Hunger Games. My point exactly. And if you can sit in solitude for the mere blink of an eye, you will have convinced me and your mother that maybe, just maybe, you can live your whole life that way. And by God, if you can do it, then we can too. Easy peasy. But, well, there's always a catch. If you fail in this endeavor, and I honestly hope you don't, you will be filmed, no questions asked, from now until the end of time, a true moron if ever there was one. Well, Billy? One small misstep for a man. <laughs> one. Giant fall from Grace of Mankind! I don't think that's a say, but never mind. Game on! Dear, I am very worried. You know, Billy's had ADD and ADHD and NAACP ever since he could crawl. I mean, what if your little science experiment goes wrong? Why, what can happen to him? Who knows? Well, there's just a chance we'll have to take. Come on, Billy, let's get at this. Now, I'm going to give you a five count just to get yourself mentally prepared, and then you're on your own. Oh, the drama, the tension, the heart of it all, I can't stand to watch. <laughs> That's not true, I'm just kidding. Be quiet on the set! Camera's still rolling? In five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Reality show's almost over. Not so fast. I think our little praying mantis just flinched. I think that was just an itch. Oh, I guess now he has fleas. Uh, hang in there, Billy. Yes, they're strong, son. Only 30 more seconds, you can do it. Oh, we sound just like when he used to run track. We used to whistle and cheer <laughs> for him. <laughs> oh, Billy, you're so fine. You're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. <laughs> likely true. But at what cost? And I'm serious now. How much further are you willing to go with this? You mean we? How much further are we willing to all go right, with this? All right, all right. We answer the question. As soon as we hear from those moron producers telling us that we have the reality show like we deserve, that's how far. We've done everything they've asked of us and more. We're bright, gifted, talented. I look great on camera. And nothing. <laughs> Dead silence. <laughs> what more do they want? Blood? Blood. Blood. <coughs> What's that look? Mm -hmm. What look? I don't even look. Yes, you had a look at the very mention of the word blood. 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 <laughs> Perhaps a creature 
creative impulse crossed my mind. Creative impulse? Such as slaughtering your family and killing yourself in a murder-suicide? <laughs> Capturing on TV for all the world to see? Including those moron producers that you had such a raging heart on for? Kinda. <laughs> all right, that's it. I am finally putting my foot down. Oh yeah, I've been along for the ride. Thought it might bond us, bring us back together as a family, but this, this is something that would quite frankly make the Roman emperors queasy. Oh, come on, it'll be fun! Fun? Mm. The horrific death of the average middle-class American family is your idea of fun family programming? All right! Maybe fun's not the right word, it'll be cutting edge. Mm. We'll be bold and daring and water cooler talk to the max. To hell with being average middle class! All right. Mr. Bohemian Rhapsody. How about I kill you first? See how much water cooler mileage we get out of that before we sign on for the rest of the series. Wouldn't be believable. <laughs> yes, Sots. It's my idea in the first place. Let's give credit where credit's due, all right? Well, you are not murdering me, so just forget it. You can murder me if you want. Stop it, Billy. I mean I mean it, too. It's become all too clear to me that this world sucks and there's nothing I can live for. Hey, there is still plenty left to live and die for, partner. And fame is at the top of that list. <laughs> and that's proven to us every single day we stare wide-eyed into that box over there. How's he going to be famous if he's chose up? Jim Morrison, James Dean. Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, John Denver! You are truly sicker than I thought. Okay, I have an idea for a reality show that we just be perfect for. How about we go out into the desert and we do a deep-rooted detox and we get well again and they can film us doing that, huh? Huh? Dr. True's already been there and done that. Let's face it, people. It has all been done before. Any way you slice it, it's still the same old, same old rehash BS. And deep down, we all know there's only one way for us to rise above in this world. We tried living the normal way of life, and what did we get out of it? A mortgage we can't afford, two cars we can't afford, and meals at the Olive Garden we can't afford. We can't afford the Olive Garden? <laughs> Not unless you want to split the smoked mozzarella fondue to three ways and not leave a tip. What? Yeah. In a world where money and fame is the name of the game, you bet your bottom dollar we are. All right, well, let's leave the cameras on, but they can film us and they'll see that we were lost and now we are found. It'll never sell. Sell, never. All right, then let's just throw in the towel if you really think that's what America wants, but there's only one way to know that. And we all know what that is. That's with a vote. And I don't mean just between us. I mean the way they do it on American Idol. America's Got Talent. Dancing with the Stars. I love those yes, shows. I know you do. And you sure am I missing if you let someone else judge your life. Are you still willing to do that? He's willing to do anything for fame, let and so am I. him answer. They vote for us to end our lives and we're remembered forever, or we don't vote at all and we live the rest of our lives anonymous. The other option is they vote for us to live and we become the good family that we were always meant to be, that we used to be. Hmm? Let's vote on it! Let's vote on it! Let's not be so fast. Now let me get this straight. You're willing to do whatever the American people want. You will live or die by their vote. I will. I will. And I will too. All right, America, the battle lines are drawn, and now it's up to you. Just call our not nearly toll-free number, one.